Hey guys, it's Brian again with another ceiling fan video. What I have for you here is a 52 inch Murray Feist ceiling fan from 1984. It's antique brass with cane blades. It's got a ball socket mounting system, single globe schoolhouse light kit, and it's a three speed reversible fan with a spinner motor. No idea the size of the motor. It's actually a decently heavy fan. Blades are in really good shape on this. The cane is just gorgeous. Somebody took really good care of this. <clears throat> the only thing on the fan that's not original are the two screws that hold this particular blade iron onto the motor. I have no idea how that came to be because it doesn't look like anything was ever broken or snapped. Maybe they fell out or the person who installed it originally lost the screws. I have no idea. But it's a really, really nice fan. I actually used to have one of these in my collection, <clears throat> uh, I think about a year or two ago. I made a video of one of these, but it did not have a light kit on it. Uh, basically the exact same fan, just this one has a light kit and it's in better shape. That other one that I made a video of is long gone. That uh, unfortunately was scrapped. It was just, the condition was too far gone. So really glad that I picked this one up. Uh, this actually, uh, there's a little story behind why I picked this up, which I believe I told in my other video, but let's go ahead and turn it on. We're gonna start with the fan on low. It does have a bit of a hum to it, although I think that that is exaggerated by the fact that it is bolted directly into a joist in the ceiling. It's definitely not the quietest fan. But it's moving a pretty good breeze on low. <clears throat> show you the fan with the light off. There's a story behind this particular fan. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, there's a local bowling alley in North Olmsted called Buckeye Lanes, and they have a mix of these and a bunch of those bottom mounted Encon Premier spinners mounted throughout the bowling alley. So that was probably, to my knowledge, the first time that I'd ever seen one of these Murray Feist footprint vent fans, and I always loved them. I mean, they're just really kind of iconic, really, with those footprint vents and the cane blades, and I mean, it's just a really nice fan. Very good quality. Medium. It's actually a pretty good air mover. I mean, medium speed is cranking out quite a bit of air. It does have a bit of a shutter to it. Um, I think some of the blades are slightly warped. High speed. It's actually moving pretty fast, quite honestly. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. This is the first time I've tested it since I brought it home. It's cranking out quite a bit of air, too. I mean, this is definitely a good air mover. 
but it's got a wobble to it no doubt about that and uh, I mean the motor's a little bit dirty I need to definitely clean some of that dust off of it but the finish on the motor is actually in really good shape <clears throat> ahead and do spin down definitely one that I plan on keeping in this collection um, being that it's a childhood fan and these are not exactly easy to find anymore it used to be a time when I'd see these all the time on marketplace Craigslist whatever not so much anymore Murray Feiss has been pretty much a dead brand for ceiling fans for as long as I can remember. So it's not going to be very easy to find a lot of their products. Although they were very popular around here. So there you have it. That's the 52-inch Murray Feist. Hope you guys enjoyed. Keep watching. More videos to come.